Hi guys, very welcome to Mentor and yet another video podcast. As always, I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic out there. So, today on the podcast, do the Airbus and also to a certain extent the Boeing actually try to insult you at times? Or is there something else at stake? Stay tuned. Right guys, uh, I, I assume that you have all seen the different threads on Peep Rune and different aviation forums and different simulator um, forums about the call-out retard from um, Airbus and also the flight mode denunciation retard in Boeing where people are making them so funny. This is probably one of the oldest jokes out there on the internet. and. Um, when it comes to aviation. And I just want to take a few minutes to explain what it actually is. Now, if we start by the word retard, I know there's some discussions whether or not this has to do with the French not uh, using the English language correctly, but this is incorrect. Both Boeing and Airbus are using the phraseology retard to indicate a movement of the trust levers, okay? And this is completely correct use of the English language. Retard means to pull back. And it's the opposite from advance, which is to push forward. Okay. Now, the, f the, the, the fact that people are referring to retard as retarded, as in the slang word retarded for someone who is mentally challenged, uh, is just a bad comprehension of the word. Okay. So the, that... Uh, word retarded is actually a slang word that was invented back in the 1960s so started recorded in 1960 basically um, and it's a very offensive word we shouldn't be using the word retarded actually because it's not a correct way of uh, describing someone who has um, man mental challenges all right so the fact that Airbus and Boeing are using that is completely correct uh, but what are they talking about then well there are some, some differences between Airbus and Boeing in this field, okay? So, uh, if we start by my aircraft, the Boeing 737, uh, you will see the word retard in the flight mode annunciator. Flight mode annunciator is the top of the primary flight display and it's showing what the aircraft is uh, doing. Basically, it is showing the pilots what the autopilot system and the auto throttle system and the flight director system is doing at any given time. Now, why is that important, you might ask? Well, it's because these systems are very complex, and especially the modes LNAV and VNAV, especially, um, do a lot of different things depending on what in what situation the aircraft is, both speed wise and altitude wise. So sometimes, even though you have a, a button pushed, it doesn't tell you what the aircraft is actually doing, but the flight mode annunciator does. And the, the, air, sorry, the, the Boeing will constantly update what, for example, the auto throttle is doing. So I will show you an example here. Okay guys, so what we can see here is the uh, VNAV path indicator on the navigation display. Now the Vina path wants to follow an idle descent down to our next target altitude. So when we're getting close enough to the uh, Vina path, the auto throttle is now driving the thrust levers into a retard position. You can see that by the mode change symbol there. And here you can see how the thrust levers are actually physically moving into the retard position. Now because of that change in thrust, the trim wheels will now start moving to adjust for the new trim position. And as you can look and see here, you'll see that the vertical speed has, has now increased to 1,700 feet per minute. And we're now following the VNAV path down. So as you can see from that example, the, um, the flight mode annunciator is basically just showing what the auto throttle in this case is doing to the pilots. All right. This is extremely important. It's very, very important that you as a pilot monitor FMA very closely because without knowing that, you don't really have full situational awareness. Okay, so the flight mode annunciator is one of the, the, the most important things that we monitor in order to yeah, just have a sense of what the automation is doing. That's why it is located at the top of the primary flight display. So it's very, very easy to see. 
why that is important, um, for example, if you have a look at the, uh, the, um, the horrific accident that happened to Turkish Airlines in Amsterdam a few years back, uh, the, they had a problem with their radio altimeter. The radio altimeter is the system that is actually governing uh, to some extent the outer throttle, especially during an outer land. Uh, when we reach 27 feet during the landing roll, the uh, thrust levers are moved into retard and they stay like that for the landing. Okay. Um, what happened in that case was that there was a faulty uh, indication from the radio altimeter. So it told the outer throttle that they were actually in, um, you know, basically on the ground. So the outer throttle interpreted that as, okay, I need to retard and it retarded the uh, thrust levers. But the difference between Boeing and Airbus is that uh, Boeing will do that without saying anything. And I'll come to that in a second. So the thrust levers were retarded and uh, none of the pilots noticed that this happened and it happened very far out and the thrust levers stayed retarded for a, well, until the aircraft basically stalled. And it stalled at such a low altitude that even though the, um, the flight crew tried to recover it, they were unable to do so. Okay, and that just shows you how important monitoring the flight mode denunciator is. So, so why does Airbus then have a retard callout and Boeing doesn't? Well, this has to do with the different philosophies between Airbus and Boeing, okay? And I'm not flying Airbus, so I won't be able to tell you exactly the reasoning that Airbus has behind this. But in the case of Boeing, uh, the thrust levers are being moved, physically moved, by the outer throttle. So as a pilot, when you're sitting in cruise or in descent, you can actually look over and you can see, depending on what the situation of the thrust levers are, what kind of thrust is being added and what the outer throttle is doing. So if it would suddenly retard the thrust levers, it would be fairly obvious to the pilots that the thrust is coming off, apart from, of course, the difference in sound and the difference in engine instrumentation. But the, the fact is that you have an actual kind of visual feedback. In the case of an Airbus, it's different. In an Airbus, you set a detent value and then the outer throttle will move within that detent. Okay, so if you've set climb thrust, it will, it will uh, you know, adjust the thrust, but without moving the thrust level. So there's no visual feedback to the crew, which is why it is more important that they are being reminded. If they have forgotten it, for example, they may be focusing on a very, very complex approach um, very, you know, a lot of crosswind, a lot of turbulence, then the Airbus actually tells them when you get into a certain altitude, and you can correct me if I'm wrong here, guys, I think it's between 20 and 30 feet. If the thrust has not already been retarded, the, trust, the, the, um, the Airbus will actually say retard four times, like I show you in this clip. 100. 50, 40, 30. 20, retard, 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 retard. So that is also why you might not hear retard on every single landing, because if the bow, if, if I've understood this correctly, if the pilots have already retarded the thrust at that point, the Airbus will not remind them to do so. It's only a, a reminder um, when you get into that altitude. So that's why you might hear it or you might not hear it. But as you can see, there are differences in philosophies. And by the way, these callouts, uh, both the altitude callout, the 2500, 1,000, 500, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and retard. They are all based on the radio altimeter of the aircraft. And if you want a really good explanation to how the radio altimeter works, then I will link to a video from Captain Joe where he explains this in a very good and um, constructive way, right? Guys, I hope that explains it to you. So just to summarize, uh, no, the, what, neither Boeing or Airbus is ever trying to insult you. Uh, they are purely just showing you either what the aircraft is doing or what the aircraft thinks that you should do. Okay, so I hope that kind of stops the discussion regarding this subject. And as always, 
continue sending in your questions to me. I love answering them. I am going to start trying to do a scheduled live streams probably on Sunday evenings. And then I will have one video coming out either on a Thursday or on a Friday every week. So that's my goal from now. If you have questions regarding this or if you want to just go in and discuss this with other guys, then make sure that you get the Mentor Aviation application completely free to download. You can either go in there and you can, uh, can watch or, or download some videos where I show you how to, for example, fly the, the uh, Boeing 737. Or um, you can just go in and you can completely for free just go into the chat and discuss with other people um, regarding these matters. But just remember that this chat is supposed to be only positive and constructive. And I will be in there watching and answering. Uh, so will at times Captain Joe and other pilots. So get the Admentor Aviation app and make sure that you give it a review and a grading in the App Store as well. It's really important. If you have already given it a review, We've done an update recently, so you might have to update that review. Just go in and resubmit it again. It would be greatly appreciated. For now, I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic out there, my friends. Take care of each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.